Hey everyone, Queso Man Rules here. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some very useful shortcuts to increase productivity when working in Windows. Um, we're going to go over how to turn off your monitor and then turn your monitor back on from a hotkey or a shortcut. Then I'm also going to show you how to run the program CCleaner either from a shortcut or a hotkey. Really not going to want to do it from a shortcut, that's fairly pointless, but make it so that you can do a hotkey that will run it. And I'm also going to show you guys how to eject a USB connected device from your system using a hotkey. First thing we're going to need to do is go and download a program called NIRCMD. And this is a program that allows you to do a lot of useful things from the command line, which allows you to do them through making hotkeys. So the direct link for the download will be in the description, but I've just gone to the site right here. I'm going to click download. And it comes in a zip file, so just download it to where you know you can find it. And then once you have downloaded it, you can go and unzip the file. So we're just gonna extract it here. And you get a few things right here. Um, just go ahead and copy all of these to a folder where you know you can find it. You might just want to put it in your program files folder. It's a good place for it. Just go to program files and create a new folder called NIRCMD and just paste them all in there. Alright, so now that they're there and we know where we can find them for later use, we can begin making the shortcuts slash hotkeys. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is right click the desktop and go to new and shortcut. All right, now you need to choose the location of the item. So the first thing we're gonna do is make one that will allow us to turn off the monitor. So the first thing we need to do is in uh, quotation marks, we need to put the directory of which NIRCMD is located. So we have C, program, files, NIRCMD, NIRCMD.exe. And you can double check it. Actually, that needs to be lowercase right there. It is case sensitive. All right, and after you do that, you need to put this command right here that's going to tell NIRCMD what to do. That will be in the description as well as the other ones. It's CMD wait space 1000 space monitor space off. So we're gonna click next, and we're gonna call it monitor off. And there you go, we've got it right down here. You can go ahead and go to right click properties. Now we can change the icon. And scroll through the ones from shell 32 right here. All right, that one right there is good. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and apply. And now you also see shortcut key right here. So you can do something like control alt S, click apply, click okay, control alt S, will turn your monitor off. Now, you can't see it because I'm screen recording, but it just did. And as soon as it turns your monitor off, if you want to turn it back on again, just move your mouse or something like that. It's just like if your monitor goes off, you have it set to turn off after a certain amount of time. So there you go, that's the first one. That's how to turn your monitor off on demand. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is do a another shortcut that's going to allow us to uh, open up CCleaner with the hotkey. So now what we're going to need to do is, uh, you need to have CCleaner installed on your system, by the way. So for this one, we're going to need to type the path for the CCleaner.exe file, which you have installed. So mine is C, program, files, and since I'm running 64-bit, I need to put in this x86 part, but you probably don't unless you're running 64-bit. Then we need to go to C, Cleaner, slash ccleaner.exe and the quotation marks the newest space forward slash and type auto and click next and right here you'll see it says ccleaner you can go ahead and leave that and click finish now what we've done so far is really nothing other than create a shortcut that will automatically clean your system as soon as you click it but that's not really necessary because you can just create a shortcut for it and run it yourself but what you need to do is make a hotkey so again click 
or right click and click properties. Under shortcut key, you might want to do control alt C or something like that for C cleaner. Click apply. And another actually cool trick that you can do is uh, right click properties, go to general and click hidden and apply. That'll make the icon disappear, but it's still in that directory, so you can go ahead and do control alt C and it will go ahead and begin running. It actually runs in the system tray. So there you go, it's running right now. Alright, and the last thing that we're going to do is make a hotkey that will automatically eject a certain USB device. So the first thing that we need to do is go and download another program called USB Disk Ejector. So we're going to go ahead and click Download Latest. Go ahead and click Download and download to the Downloads folder. Right click, open directory, whatever and extract it again. Alright, and as you can see, it's just a simple executable file, so un as we did before, a good thing to do would be to cut that and let's go and paste it under our program files again. This time we'll do a new folder and call it USB Ejector. Go ahead and paste that in there. Alright, so now we know where that is. And now what we need to do, just like with the last ones, we need to go and create a new shortcut. So right click new shortcut. Now for this one there's a couple of things that we can do. We can either make it so that it will open up the GUI for the program, which is probably what you're going to want to do in most cases, because it will just bring up a little window and ask you which USB device you'd wish to eject. But if you would like to eject a specific one, you can also do that too. So if you want to just eject uh, or open up the GUI to eject something, just go ahead and click browse and browse for where you just pasted that file, um, that executable. So we're going to go and there it is, USB ejector, click on that, OK. And that's just like creating a shortcut. So we're going to call this like eject USB. And if you double click that, as you can see it opens up and these are the two USB devices I have connected right now. So you can just uh, double click or press enter and it'll safely remove the disk. So that's a really easy thing to do. Now what you can also do if you want to choose to eject a specific device, you can go to right click properties and go ahead and edit this shortcut. Um, for this you're going to need to know the drive letter of your USB device. So we can do remove letter. do a space and then the drive lever, whatever it is, so say it's your L drive or whatever, you can go ahead and click apply and OK, and double click it, it won't work for me because I'm not using anything like that, I don't have an L drive right now, but it'll go ahead and eject the disk safely. So you can either choose to use a GUI or do it specifically, and then again, as with the rest of them, you can right click and go to shortcut and do control alt E for um, eject to eject or you can do the drive letter, control alt l whatever you want. So that's just a quick way to uh, use some shortcuts to increase your productivity, some cool things. You know, a lot of people like to use a keyboard. I do. It's a lot faster than using the mouse, clicking through things. So thank you for watching this tutorial on how to create some cool shortcuts to enhance your productivity in Windows using keyboard shortcuts and hotkeys. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next time.